Honors are just about to line up for the Crescent City Classic 10K this morning in New Orleans. Whether you plan to walk or you're trying to beat your own personal best time, it's important to make sure that you take care of your body after the long exercise. Uh, health educator Dr. Eric Griggs joining us now with some tips. Good morning, Dr. Griggs. Good morning. So I don't know if you've ever done the, the Triple C before, the Crescent City Classic. I, uh, I know a lot of people are, as we said, getting ready to line up. It's a very long run, and like you said, you may walk too, but even that, can can put some uh, put some wear and tear on your legs. Yeah, particularly depending on your level of fitness and training prior to the race. So you want to give yourself time to recover properly, mm -hmm. so you won't miss work next week. And and you know a lot of people will run it. And look, there's some professional runners out there. They don't need to be told. They know exactly how to take care of their bodies. But for those who maybe just you know like my wife for instance, she's going to run it. She's not a big runner. She's been training for like months to try to build up her personal time. So she's doing it. What should she do after she gets done, somebody like that? Well, one of the first things that you want to do is get out of those wet clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to have pop-up showers, it sounds like, mm -hmm. and uh, you will have been on your feet running for quite a long time. Quite a long time. Yeah. So, yeah, so you want to get out, put on, get in dry clothes uh, uh, to, to avoid the, the damp and the things that could happen. And we know that happen. there is some potential possibility of rain, but even that, it's going to be it's going to be probably a little warm, maybe a little bit muggy. I'm not quite sure. I should have been listening to Hannah more often, but <laughs> I'll tell you, if you're going to be out there running, you're going to get sweaty at the end of the day, and then your legs build up a lot of lactic acid, all that stuff. I mean, stretching is something we tell people, but there is such a thing I know as stretching too much. You don't want to like overdo it right after. Well, yeah, you don't want to overstress your muscles and your tendons even though you feel fine your muscles and your tendons especially if you're going for a PR um, uh, gonna need time to recover you want to avoid I know there's a post celebration and it's awesome but you want to keep moving believe yes. it or not and you don't want to overdo it do not dehydrate yourself hydrate 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 and as soon as you can get a good meal I was gonna say in yeah. a good meal with a balance proteins carbs fat and some and some water to re and replace electrolytes and you know if you if you if you aren't used to doing that level or that length of an exercise you know the next day you'd be feeling some soreness like you said in your tendons especially at a certain age there's a certain age where the knees and the, the you know the <laughs> knees and the ankles just start to really hurt the next day so what should you do uh, the days after well the first thing is uh, if the, the day after immediately after if you're gonna take a, a bath uh, you want an ice bath you want to do that immediately the day of and okay. before not during the day at days after you want to take warm and warmer baths to increase your circulation to help things heal. Mm -hmm. uh, remember the blood, your circulatory system is a highway for everything. You're healing those healing uh, um, uh, equipment folks yeah. in your body. Uh, ride the circulatory highway. So the more you can do to wear t uh, compression socks or uh, stockings mm -hmm. uh, the next day uh, we can help blood flow to get things to heal. And as you said, the main thing too is right when you're done, don't just sit down for a long time because it will get your legs will get stiff. Oh, you sure. will get yeah, you'll get stuck on the ground. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, not only am I there, I'm a, I'm a client. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you very much. There as always, Dr. Eric.